got to talk about YSL and the chaos that has ensued in the damn courtroom with YSL. Have you been following this? No, I have seen that you sent me the article. You know, this is one of the Man. ones you called, and it's crazy. Listen, I'm gonna read a, a truncated version of everything. I read the larger the larger article in Rolling Stones, but they got a shorter article over here in um, what is this? H and H H. And we're going to get into everything that's going on with the YSL case because there's a YSL lawyer that was caught with prescription drugs at trial. He gets arrested, starts screaming. And while he gets arrested, he tries to throw his phone to a colleague so that they don't have more evidence in the phone or whatever. Misses the colleague and hits a police officer and gets an ad charge. He just bonded out. Now, this ain't the first time somebody's gotten in trouble <laughs> for drugs in the YSL. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this before you ask too many questions, because some of the questions might be answered when I read the article. Right, right. But there, in the past, there was a lady who had drugs in her bag or something. She said somebody snuck the drugs in her purse. Then we had another <laughs> time where somebody was. Uh, uh, young thug was past the Percocet <laughs> in an open court and they explained oh, anyway so now we have another drug wow, arrest I, I'm going to read from the article here and then we'll opine and we'll start with the questions from there because it might get answered when I go through <laughs> this now the YSL RICO trial is working to put together a jury although the courtroom is seeing endless odd behavior from the potential members defendants and now even attorneys on Thursday, this was on 420, the lawyer representing Miles McFarley, a.k.a. Lil Miles or Slato, Anastasios Manettes, I hope I'm saying that correctly, he was arrested in court for carrying prescription drugs on his person. As Rolling Storm reports, while police were dragging their culprit off, he attempted to throw his phone to a colleague to avoid having it searched by the authorities. <laughs> Unfortunately, unfortunately for Menetes, he missed and instead hit an officer and as a result got another charge. So he's in the find out portion of, of the situation right now. And uh, Jimenez confirmed that his co-worker has since been released and the charges were bullshit. Um, at the end of the day, I predict that both charges will be dropped. He's going to have a nice little civil suit against the sheriff's department and those deputies that violated his rights says his colleague wow let's see. <laughs> let's see all right councils good morning can everybody please be seated um let me take up a couple of housekeeping matters to begin with first one being uh it has been brought to the court's attention that mr Minetta's uh has been taken into custody this morning um and i'll let that process kind of play out however Due to that particular issue, um, the court's going to go ahead and sever Mr. Farley on its own motion. I'm doing that based upon a couple of cases. Um, Hill versus the state at 239 Georgia 278, as well as Harrington versus the state at 315 Georgia Appeals 101, which basically um, state both cases read in tandem, save for the pro proposition that I, as the trial court, have discretion to sever, even on my own motion, um, prior to trial. And since we have not paneled the jury and they haven't been sworn, um, I'm going to exercise that particular um, discretion on the court's behalf. So at this point, I'm going to take roll at this point, see who's here, and then we'll figure out what's, what goes on for the day. Uh, Mr. Beebe, Mr. Partridge, morning, good morning. Mr. Uh, Stillwell and Mr. Sharp, Mr. Boss, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Damn, bro. Young Thug is never coming home. No, nah, I don't say that. No. <laughs> it's over, bro. Look at the clown show that they have as lawyers. Now, I don't mean to disrespect them like that. I'm sure that I mean, they just don't strike me as being the most competent group of lawyers I've ever seen. Have you ever seen shit like this occur in a trial? Man, and that lawyer, you could... Hold on. First, I want to correct you. Lawyers are the most crookedest people in the justice system to me. 
you know? So I'm surprised, you know? I'm not, I don't feel like lawyers are stand up or just stand up guys. They lie, they lie for you, you know? They'll do a lot of the things to get that check. You know, these are your, these are your blue collar dope boys. You know, these are the guys that, you know, kind of street, but in the judicial system. So it's shocking that it happened on Young Thugger's trial, but we know that it's lawyers out there that's just, they ain't right. Correct, ain't correct, right. correct, <laughs> correct. Um, Just a little bit more about Lil Miles. He's a standout. He has no prior criminal record, and he's a college graduate. However, unlike bigger names like Thugger and Gunner, Farley is facing murder charges. He previously refused a plea deal from a from the prosecution, granting him probation in exchange for admitting that YSL is a criminal street gang. Several others involved in the case have already taken deals, while others, such as So Much Fun Rapper, have been denied bond three times. Are you surprised by the antics unfolding during the YSL Rico trial? Uh, yes. I'm fucking surprised, bro. I didn't think that we was going to see all of this, man. I'm on the edge of my seat with this whole shit, man. I can't wait to see what comes out next. I mean, we 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 deal with jury selection. This ain't even like the actual trial trial yet, and we seeing all of this. Yes, this is definitely I mean, I want to know what would a lawyer get? I mean, for those prescriptions, it's like, dang, he made license. I mean, they might throw it out. He might get a charge. He might have to do time. We don't know at this point. <laughs> We're just going to have to wait to see, you know, his arraignment, uh, what he's offered, <laughs> uh, what the discovery That's is great. looking like. But God damn, it's looking ugly, bro. It's And... and Shout out to the judge for rise, raising the level of security in the courtroom. I guess he was seeing too much goofy shit going on. We got a, <laughs> a lawyer just the other day that was saying no cap to the judge. Like, he's like, no cap. You know, that's no, no. He was like, that's cap. To be honest, your honor. I was like, where did they find these niggas? Criminal like, the streets. We, Talk we, <laughs> Man, look, man, I'm from Broward, man. The way these lawyers move, they look like the type of niggas like somebody sold them the answers to the bar or something, or somebody sold them they uh their accreditation. What do you call that, man? When you pass yeah. the bar becoming a lawyer and all that, like that might have been some some back yeah. <laughs> some back alley deal or something. Or these we need to check these guys' uh certifications, man. These look yeah, like, like some the street nurses niggas. who got caught. You like the nurses who got caught yeah, with the like, degrees. <laughs> yeah, because if, if, if people don't know in Broward, we got we there was a sting that discovered a whole bunch of nurses had fake degrees and stuff like that. Shit like that. Mm -hmm. In Broward, they selling housing vouchers right now. They got like fake section eight shit getting sold in the streets. You know, we like the home of fake COVID vouchers, all of that shit goes down here. And these <laughs> lawyers is acting like street niggas that bought a tie. <laughs> Came in. For real, for real. And this ain't the first time, dog. This is stories on these lawyers that's sad, dog. You would think that these guys are trustworthy, but they are about their pockets, man. You know, they're about their pockets. They're the about their pockets. He was and getting just... a check. He was getting a check for doing that. You get what I'm saying? I mean, know we, look, look, listen, I don't <laughs> want to say that. We don't really know that for sure. We can't confirm that. All we know right now is that he got locked up for drugs. We don't know if he had any nefarious intentions. I'm just going to say that it's been a lot of funny shit going on in this courthouse, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We had the judge refer to people uh, giving information as snitches. You don't usually hear a judge use the word snitch. You know what I'm saying? He used the yeah. judge used the word snitch. The lawyer said that's cap. Uh, we we had young thug get past pills. Out of the the lawyer get locked up for not just the pills, but he hit a cop with a police with a cell phone too. <sighs> then they say um. Did they say Gunna had some more? Wrong. Look, remember when they Gunna said Gunna tried to bring some dope in? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Oh, like, the this nurse. shit crazy. The nurse got fired. Yeah, man, it's like ATL. They probably got so much dope in the damn jail house, dog. They probably selling more than the streets. <laughs> I don't know. They yeah, do say yeah, you can yeah. make more money in the in the jail yeah. in the street sometimes. I don't yeah. know if it's because the prices go up. So I think that yeah, because it's like yo, 
I was watching something where there was like it's 9500 for you to get a cell phone and chill. You get what I'm saying? Like there's yeah. prices that these lawyers, COs, anybody that's in the jail, like it's a number that they're going to they're going to do it for that price. Like well, <laughs> or, or the client could have been like, man, you know, I got a, a, a lengthy tab with your ass. Help me to help you, nigga. You feel me? Like, how you think I'm going to pay for all this defense, man, if you're not getting that sack in? You know what I'm saying? It could have <laughs> right. been one of those type of situations. Definitely could have been one of those, man. I think it was money play. I think the lawyer wouldn't even, it had to been a, a dollar amount for him to even want to consider. Because they'll do stuff for that money. Like, lawyers is going to... You know, they want that check. Mm -hmm. That's that's possible, man. I mean, y'all chime in and let us know what you think, man. Do you think that Young Thug has a chance of seeing the streets again? Um, could this result in a mistrial? <laughs> could this be something that works to Thug's favor? Out like, for Young Thug. Like, look, all of these guys having drugs, they plant bad perception. This needs to be thrown out. <laughs> I, I don't. Nah, I don't. I don't, think that's I don't know what legal standing that is. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here acting like I'm a lawyer. But hey, right. it's a lot of. It's a lot of YouTube lawyers. Y'all tap in and let us know what you think because when we were saying stuff about Meech trial and everything, we had a lot of people who knew about the lawyer. The law come in out the woodwork. So y'all let us know what you think, man. Get us on point, man. Is is this is this normal could this work out in young thug's favor that's all the time we got today bob all right we're gonna catch y'all on the next one man peace damn right got to do that